One of the questions I think that most of us uh, who cover energy markets have been asking is one of which, why is it that OPEC plus countries, who all believe that the world is going to continue to need fossil fuels, they're going to need oil, they're need, going to need gas, and in the second half of this year, presumably, as Chinese demand comes back right. online, why they're not pumping enough to satisfy that demand? Well, OPEC plus is seeking for a stability in the oil markets. It's not seeking either to raise prices nor to allow them to fall so that other countries will suffer from it, especially the oil producers. The balance is being struck now. As you saw after the decision back in October or September, when people were saying the prices will go up to 150 if you reduce the 2 million barrels or so on, the price remains stable. And so the need for increasing Oil, oil production will come when the Russian, when the Chinese demand will rise. OPEC Plus, and particularly Saudi Arabia, is always willing to meet the necessary uh, demand worldwide, not just because of China. Uh, so this is something I just came from a, from a, a session on, on energy, and what struck me there is that there are still people in the West, particularly, who are saying that you must stop any investment in oil and, and gas. They're just being, I don't know, blind to the facts that you cannot avoid to stop using oil and gas for another decade or two decades or three decades, as Mr. Biden himself finally said in the uh, uh, State of the Union message. And if he is saying that, and he was the one who declared war on fossil fuels when he became president, well, others should follow suit. Do you think it's a bit contradictory that those who are calling on OPEC plus members to pump more um, are at the same time telling their own producers don't? <laughs> well, uh, it's not just, how can I put it? it it's uh, hypocritical. And I think they should mind what they say.